I'm doing something I've always wanted to do, which is buy identical looking products on Amazon and testing to see if they are exactly the same because usually you have the same looking products sold by different sellers and the price point is different. Now this is the UV Beast UV flashlight and I have an unboxing first impression demo of it which you can find right here. It's one of the most expensive 100 LED flashlights there were on Amazon. The marketing on this was very aggressive. It had pictures, infographics, it talked about why this was better than any of the other other competing UV flashlights. If you look at the questions on Amazon, the seller responds in these essays to every question. Even though the seller does look like he really cares about this product, I really want to know if the price point on this matches the quality of this flashlight. I was so curious that I bought Goliath Industries UV flashlight. There's not a lot of reviews on it, but it's half the price of this flashlight. This is 40 bucks. This is 22 bucks. So I haven't unboxed this yet. I wanted to go on camera. I just want to show you the boxes look the same. However, this one opens this way. The packaging isn't as nice. These look pretty much the same. The only difference I see is that the button the button on this one is raised a little more. This uh, textured grip actually goes throughout the handle on this one, which I think would be, is nicer. The bottoms look a little bit different. There's a wrist strap on this one, no wrist strap, but there's a hole for a wrist strap. Just slight differences, very slight. One thing I noticed is that it'll actually unscrew up here. So mine does that too. This one doesn't have a plastic base to it, and this one has a solid plastic base. It feels like the same material. It's both aluminum. It doesn't feel like plastic. Different colors for the battery holders. Spring on the second one still looks better. There's more wire to the spring. If I were to look at these side by side, just by the body of it, I would think the cheaper one was more expensive just because it just looks, it looks more expensive. So I'm just gonna put the six AA batteries in here so we can start testing it out. This one feels lighter. This one's definitely heavier. So it works just fine. Ooh, you do, I think I can tell, tell from the display that this one actually does look brighter. That's interesting. Oh, so maybe I did buy my money's worth. Okay, so time to test these out. So our first test is gonna deal with two things I found in my room that my dog, Butters, that guy over there hiding, peed on. I'm pretty sure it was him, that punk. I mean, they look, clean-ish. First test is going to be with the UV Beast, the more expensive one. Here we go. Do you see how it just lights up? And this is an ambient lighting. It's pretty good. Let's try my Goliath Industry one. Oh yeah, it definitely is dimmer. I mean, it still works though. That's the thing. Do it side by side. Goliath Industry is going to be on the left. UV Beast is going to be on the right. Let's see. Do you see that? Yeah, it definitely is brighter. Oh, that's really cool. I'm really glad I spent more money. Um, this is in really dark condition, so you could really see stains pop up pretty well. This is about from three feet away. Here is Goliath Industries. You could still see it. And so I think if you are looking for just something to make urine stains fluoresce, just go around at night and use this and you'll be able to find them pretty easily. You wouldn't need the more expensive one. The next test is going to be this carpet, which I actually cleaned after I saw a urine stain on it with the UV light, but it's still there. And we're gonna use the UV Beast. Do you see it? It's right there. So you can see it in ambient lighting. So let's try Goliath Industries light. It's lighting up, but it's not as, not as good. Let's put them side by side. Ooh. I think the UV Beast was a better buy in this instance, because this has way more contrast for that stain versus this one. This is UV Beast, and here is Goliath Industry. Oh wow, you really can't see it anymore. Oh, now you can kind of see it. You have to like look hard. UV? Oh, yeah. Harder on rugs, I guess, for the, the cheaper one. So the next test is a $20 bill. To make sure it's not counterfeit, you should be able to see a strip line up. And you see it pretty well in ambient light. And you still see it with the cheaper light too. But it is. Okay, this is UV. And this is Goliath. UV, Goliath. UV, Goliath. UV, Goliath. Goliath. 
Another cool thing that fluoresces is on my driver's license. My face is right there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's right there. On right on the edge. Let's see if it finds it with the other light. Same thing, you can still see it. Okay, it's just fluorescing off of the, the ambient light. So this is UV Goliath. UV Goliath. UV Goliath. Same thing. These two rocks show fluorescence. It's very subtle. I don't think you can really see it. But this one has pink stripes in it, and this one has like this kind of glittery effect to it with the UV light. Here are they side by side. UV Goliath. UV Goliath. It's so hard to tell. UV and Goliath. I don't think you could tell the difference. It's really hard to capture on camera. You'd have to see it in person, I guess. The last thing I want to test is their claim if the UVBs can reach farther than the Goliath industry. Here we go. 20 feet. It's a pretty big distance. What about that one? Yeah, I would say one does look bigger than the other one. So this is about from 20 feet away, and you could definitely see a difference between the two. All right, so that concludes my test on the UV beast versus the Goliath. You guys can figure out what you want in your UV light. My recommendation is if you want the best, go with UV beast. It's definitely stronger. If you are in ambient lighting and you're looking for urine stains, you will see more contrast with the stains with the more powerful UV light. And that doesn't mean that the Goliath industry light doesn't work. They'll look a bit more dim, but you could always just go around at night. At night, these things work wonderfully. So you can go with the cheaper light in that case. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye. So how UV lights work, I've done a lot of research, is that unlike normal fluorescent bulbs, it uses a different phosphor that just helps emit UVA light, which is the invisible light. It's Are you gonna make a noise? <laughs> Ow, chat.